What is up, guys? I'm Zuff. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time Terror. Come back at you with movie night number 116, The Edge of 17. And I am super excited for this one. I saw the cast and it is loaded. A lot of uh a lot of people who are already on the channel are in this one. Um I think at least four, right? There's Haley. Haley who? There's Haley, two Haley's. Haley Lou, Haley Steinfeld are both on there. Woody Harrelson is on there. I guess there's th I guess there's only three, but wow, are those three awesome? I am a very big Woody Harrelson fan. Like he is one of my favorite actors. I like him a lot in The Hunger Games. Shout out True Detective. Yeah, he's good in True Detective. I don't know what he is in this. I'm guessing a parent or a teacher. Uh, but. I can't wait to see him and all the other people. I have not seen this movie either. Um, actually, I th the other day, I think I saw the opening scene of this on like Twitter or something. I was watching and it was Haley Steinfeld and Woody Harrelson talking. And uh, I saw this too, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, what is this conversation? And uh, I didn't know if it was supposed to be humorous or not based off of the, the context and then it turned really funny. So um, I, I honestly don't know what to expect from that interaction that I saw. But, I mean, it's called The Edge of Seventeen. I didn't really look up the plot or anything, but the title sounds like it could be maybe kind of like a around that, like, end of high school, maybe, like, kind of coming of age. We just watched Lady Bird, which is, like, a coming of age story. Um, but I feel like that is a very transformative age, if that is what it's around. So, um, like Zuff said, very familiar and a great cast so I'm, I'm very much looking forward to watching this uh yeah i have seen this movie i saw it one time when it first came out i remember i think it came out in 2017 I, i'm pretty sure it came out like towards the end of when we were in high school because i'm pretty sure i was in high school and i watched this and uh i remember liking it i'm excited to watch it again now though because i didn't really know Haley Steinfeld especially didn't I didn't know Haley Lou Richardson at all back then but I remember watching this because uh I saw that like oh the girl from Pitch Perfect 2 is in this like the the one that they add in Pitch Perfect 2 Haley Steinfeld and that's just crazy that that's what I thought of her back then like the first time I watched it and how huge she's become since so uh yeah definitely looking forward to rewatching it um, I'm sure I'm gonna like it just as much as I did the first time. If you guys like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out our links in the description, got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social medias, as well as our PO box and second channel. And yeah, we're gonna to movie night number 116, The Edge of 17. Let's go. Is this before or after? It's perfect. After. But I'm gonna kill myself. Good start to a conversation. I just thought big that it just done, kills me, lights out. Cause if it just maims me, and I'm like, well, the <laughs> fuck that? Oh my. This is, uh... <laughs> Freaking, uh... I wish I knew what to say. What's his name? Well, Hamish. Hey, there you go. Oh my god. Hamish Abernathy. You know his real name. Woody. Everybody, as some of you know, I have 30 minutes of happiness per school day during lunch. <laughs> Which... Nothing. I really would. It sounds relaxing. <laughs> it matched her vibe. Nice life without me, fuckers. You are so gonna get fired when I actually do it. Well, not for sure, but I can dream. <laughs> what a jackass. <laughs> Let me start from the beginning. Nadine. There are two types of people in this world. The people who radiate confidence and natural people who hope all those people die in a big explosion. Okay. All right. I wonder which one she is. Brother Darian was a winner from day one and had about a million. Hi. His biggest one, my mother. I know her. Yeah. Oh, dude, was she the, uh, she the was aunt in, some... in the Outer Banks? No. No, was dude. She? She, she was in, uh, was she in the, the Hum and Jay? More Hunger Games? No, the freaking one with, um, Humming Daisy. Jay. Or the crawdads? Yeah. yeah. Let's just think for a minute before Humming we jam. say. Because <laughs> it's not helping. What? You're just saying a word that doesn't exist, then you explain the actual thing. <laughs> Humming J is not even a word. <laughs> I was I just came it's just what came to my mind. Oh my goodness. And the only one who can handle either of us? What is she from? Oh, I need to know. Dude, I feel like she might be the ant from the Outer Banks. I think she is an Outer Banks. 
Like their aunt who's like, I'm gonna sell the house. Having to manage us both. Yeah, but she's also in something else. Okay. Yeah, humming Jay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I wish you were small. Aww. That's, <laughs> that's so really sweet. Cute. That's <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Instead, the most attention I got at school. No. No. Nobody mm, likes fuckers. you. Fuckers. You suck, and you're gonna get eight. <laughs> my god, Damn, dude. And then, out of the clear blue. Hey, Lee Lou, who? Haley Lou Richardson. She was dressed like a small elderly gentleman. <laughs> An elderly gentleman. Eat it. What? Hi, My intrusive thoughts. Other mom with me. Really? I'm gonna be your other mom and I accidentally suffocated him two hours later in my <laughs> Oh no, Mr. Caterpillar. Uh. But I have finally made my first friend. They trauma bonded. We never thought we'd say out loud. Once my brown bird pajama accidentally came open and I saw his wean and got real sad. <laughs> <laughs> got real sad. It's true. <laughs> I'm getting the. You better stay alive. And then some extremely fucked up shit happened. Great. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey! Oh, we were just talking, for Pedro. We were just talking about Napoleon Dynamite. Hey, <laughs> move. I gotta pee. Oh, dude, I forgot this guy was in it. Oh my god, he's in glee. Knew it. <laughs> that's her brother. That night, I picked up some cheeseburgers with my dad. What do I have that's any good? Tell me. You have a lot. You have love. You have my. He looks like a uh, Will Ferrell's um partner and stepbrother. Well, John, John C. Riley. No. Uh, eh. Wait till you see. Oh, I've I've seen him. <laughs> Just wait. Oh yeah. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Does he not? No. Oh, hey, that was Billy Joel. You didn't turn past Billy Joel. I see it like 8%. Right there, he looked like it. I see like 35. Because of you. Way. I think they're going to You may a be soon. right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Heart attack. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, that is fucking terrible. I didn't want this. Not to make the moment not sad, but was I saying that she was in the Outer Banks? That the mom, yeah, mm -hmm. not that show. The summer I turned pretty. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Why yeah, the yeah. fuck was I saying the Outer Banks? That's why she's I... she's the aunt in the. I was thinking the summer I turned pretty the whole time. Yeah, okay. But kept yeah, saying yeah. the Outer Banks. That's why I kept saying there's another <laughs> show because I did not think Outer Banks. Dude, I was picturing Jeremiah and Conrad the whole. I even described the whole aunt selling the house. Yeah, and I thought yeah, actually yeah, yeah, someone yeah. was trying to sell John B's house that he said. Like he was in. I complete mistake. <laughs> All right, her dad died now. Yeah, I, we thought I wasn't crazy. Haley Lou. Oh, dude, he's Rufus from yeah. Gen V. Oh my yeah. God, what the? Fuck? What is this cast? <laughs> What's happening? I knew there was more than three. I don't want to see that stinker. I should go in there and be like, "Excuse me, where are the beta fish? And also, could you put your penis inside?" Me? Oh. oh. <laughs> Woodster. From the union, you meant to say the cells seceded. You accidentally said the exact opposite. 
That's quite the mistake to make. Point during it when you thought to yourself, gosh, I wonder what it's like to actually have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I was too concentrated on how you're wrapping the whole thing. Well, I understand that, but just know that. <laughs> I love this relationship. I like your sweatshirt today. It's nice. Thank you. He's trying. He wants to cheat. Daddy. No, I don't. I don't remember. Julio. Oh, well, what the? <laughs> yep. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> don't know where that came from, but. What? what? <laughs> to a gainer. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that word since I was in high school. He's drunk. Tell me, tell me, Irwin Kim's here. Hey, no one's listening to you. You said you weren't gonna drink until after soccer. You failed. Uh, <laughs> it's orange juice, genius. How drunk is she? I've had one drink. Go okay, catch your friends out of the pool. No. <laughs> Okay, yep, you're cut off now. We're going upstairs. Excuse me, I'm calling the cops. Hey, you're retarded. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> what? Hello, operator. Yeah, um, can you please remove me? Oh my god. What is wrong with everybody? We've all been there. Yeah. I've probably seen both of you there. I feel like when I, dark, fell, dark when times. I fell asleep next to the toilet, I, it wasn't for the whole night. Like, I'd wake up and then move. Hey, is there any more aspirin anywhere? Maybe. Try try that thing over there. Here we oh, go. You here feel we the go. connection. No, but it, the setup's there. <laughs> there wasn't really a connection yet. <laughs> but I feel the connection. It's cool. It'll just go faster, so. He looks like he could be in TVD. I was going to say, he's <laughs> giving me Matt Donovan energy right now. <laughs> I feel like if Matt Donovan and Tyler Lockwood were combined. Dude, he, he was on Glee, and he got on there by being on another show called The Glee Project, which was a competition from like of fans. So he just was a fan of Glee, and that's how he got his acting career. Do you feel the connection? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh gosh, she does not feel good, does she? You think she feels good? It looks like it. She might feel okay. Oh. Oh, is she in that room? Oh no. Oh, dude, that's <laughs> fucked. Here Was she go. beating him off? Damn, dude. What? We knew what was happening. I didn't. What'd you think? <laughs> a wispy mustache, you pervert, and stay away from my friends, okay? Did you just say friends, plural? Damn. Your head is too big for your body. It makes you look ridiculous, and you'll never be able to fix it. Oh, my God. How was your week? Okay, better. Uh, I golfed. Okay. All right. Like mini, like mini, mini golf. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Not the same golf. thing. But, yeah. Mini golf is stinky. I it's fun. Like it's fun. It's fun, but it's not as fun as real golf. Oh, that was good segue. That was good. People like 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 several. Oh. People. Just us. <laughs> I think that'd be, I think that'd be so much more fun. Yeah. Right? You know. A, a for effort, we'll brother. Settle. We'll a, settle. A for effort. He's smooth. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna catch up with you guys, huh? Alright, man. I don't like he, his fit either. He just looks like he is so old. Look at him. I'm gonna say that, um, he looks like a uh, golden boy. Yeah. Uh, 
Anyways. Yeah. Mm. Cool. <laughs> See you. The house or around. around. Cool. Mm. Yeah, um, I had a really good time with you. <laughs> oh, here we go, dude. Oh, they are not done. Here we go. She is a smiley girl. Osiris. Puma. Remember the Osiris? Yeah, yeah. they say Osiris on them. Massive letters. Do you like those shoes? I had I a did. pair. I had multiple pairs. <laughs> I had a pair. Black and orange. <laughs> oh, I, had, I had the black and orange ones too. Was I, there white on them too? Yeah, I think so. They yes, were sir. so Are fucking you, ugly. Yes, I used to wear them skating. The tongue was literally... Skating just, what? Skateboard. I oh, skateboard so much. I must have missed that chapter. It was me, Nate. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know Nate. <laughs> me, my cousins, and my brother had a massive skateboard in the back alley stage. <laughs> you got a massive skateboard? No, no, a massive. <laughs> no. You guys all in the back alley. They all rode it at once. <laughs> a massive skate arc. I was really bad. Couldn't do anything. Barely even ride it. Because if that's what it is, then we can really. Will you, will you, will you stop that? talking because you're driving me insane? What? What was the point? Please. I'm agreeing with her. <clears throat> Nadine is a big talker so far. Not a, not a great listener. He invited me to a party on Friday. You come with us. Let's meet someone else. I'm gonna have to see if I'm wrong. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> She's not like happy. What a great brother. Yeah, I only invite you to the parties whenever I'm hanging out with your friend. She, he didn't even invite her. Yeah. Oh. She is much better at making friends. <laughs> Who's she gonna see here, Mr. Mr. Kim? Left to fend for herself. Whoa. What? <laughs> that dude was hitting it. You, yeah, having fun? Feeling pretty good. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Are you Jerry and Franklin's sister? Yep. Yep. Got Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, that, the little bald guy from <laughs> the Sunday. DeVito. Played twin brothers, only Arnold. Oh, fuck. I know about this movie. Yes. You remind me of. <laughs> oh, yep. There uh, we go. Which one is she? Well, that is a horrible thing to say to someone. I'm just a. Hey! You alright? Cool? You alright? What's up? Sorry, I keep talking. <laughs> 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 I like oh, this yeah. guy's me, bro. <laughs> ah, gotcha. I like him a lot. I really like him. How people drive you. People make such a big deal about being able to do things for themselves. That was a joke. I failed the test. Oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> he just gets my sense of humor. Take me on a tour of your psyche. Jeez, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just your average guy, I guess. Very cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Selling yourself <laughs> um, as normal as it gets. Oh. Uh, I'm really hoping none of that was racist, but now I'm thinking all the <laughs> way Definitely motivating. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! That bad timing? Because I thought it was good. You didn't even answer the damn question. Trying to comfort you. That was weird. We should probably get off. That was terrible. Can we be let off? Can we please? Can we stop the. 
fucking ride? <laughs> Can we just stop it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. For, I didn't mean to raise my. Oh my god, Erwin! Uh, Erwin! That was tragic. Hi. I'd be mad at her. I, I think, uh, th like, it is, it's, I feel like it's bad because there's been no conversation about it. It's just like she did a thing, just decided. Yeah. Okay. And you toss me aside? The person who's had your back since <sighs> second grade? Who's been with you through everything? You know what? Bro, Even she played a game of beer pong, though, like. Sorry, right, it's not gonna happen, because your brother just asked me to be his girlfriend into prom in May. That's what's up, Nadine. I'm on team Nadine. You just asked me that. I just don't think it's proper. You can't. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, I know. It shouldn't end a friendship. Eh, it could. It could. <laughs> it's something that could end a friendship. I think Nadine's being very childish about it. Yeah, for sure. But they're in high school. And I just, I wouldn't like it. I would literally tell the person, like, you either pick me or my sibling. Like, that's it. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you or I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. Because we don't have a sister. Yeah. So, I like old music and old movies. Ugh. Even old people. It's just a little bit cringe. I can't lie. What? She's so different from her generation. Like, come on. Nadine? Thanks. Maybe. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Damn. Definitely a possibility. Zero effort into everything you do here, and there's no way you're proud of that. Look at you. Look at, like, like you, you do nothing. Fuck, dude. You're, he does you're, not you you take criticism here. well. You're bald, and you know what? <laughs> you know why you're not married? Because bald men are gross, and they're disgusting. Damn. Nice. <laughs> what are you doing? He said maybe. Giving you half my cookie. Give you some instant gratification or instant. Is that what it's called? No. Instant. Whatever. Moving on. That looks like a beef jerky cookie. Am I really your favorite student? I felt like the right thing to say. <laughs> By the way, it's smart what you do there too. You kind of, you know, I don't know. Do you poop it up a little bit? Give a little. Glad you circled back around and cleaned that up. It certainly made me feel better. <laughs> I love him. Did you just throw out a punch there. <laughs> no. Like imagine like you're, you have your friend over and like, oh yeah, I'm so happy you're over. Let's go play in my room. Like. And no, she's just gonna bang your brother in your room. Uh, I think playing. Yeah, you know what I mean. And banging her. Hang out. Different ages. <laughs> Let's play. Let's play in my room. Oh no, you ended up banging my brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Can I come swim in it? I know I, I, I could swim in mine, I just know I wouldn't relax. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit then. Okay. What if he didn't have a pole? Like, then it's not gonna work out. Destiny's different. Let's go, Erwin. Yes! Dude is hyped. He lives in a nice castle. Holy shit, that's <laughs> a nice house. Castle. You were rich. I thought I did. I always try to tell everyone. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like, like his what voice, was that voice I think, changed. I think he was, I think he was like, be, being sarcastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna drown myself now. Goodbye. Right. Bye. Is this a whole heated pole? Yeah. yeah that's nice. That's crazy. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. It looks so fun comfy. Not fun though. Hey. Yeah, it does look fun. Thanks for letting me come over. Oh. This would be a fantastic place to relax in. Do you want to have sex right now? Whoa. What? I was just, you know that I was just, I was just pulling out the <laughs> You ever feel like you have to do 
that? I mean, come on, there's a waterfall, it's all romantic. Sure, yeah. Ah. You're gonna press a button that sucks queen to the drain, aren't you? How did he get that? Yeah. He's got the dickhead button, apparently. <laughs> oh, this button plays the dickhead song. <laughs> He's a good sport. He's taking a lot of shit and moving past it. A drawing teacher asked a few of us to enter an animation project. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you drew. What kind of stuff? <laughs> Look at these. Yeah, this is uh, mostly unfinished, uh, just doodling. I like him a lot. He's really cool. He's got <laughs> cool ass interests. I, I think I found my favorite. Oh, yeah, my, uh, my parents <laughs> love that one. Nice. In his fingers. Good. Do you, um, you know, want to come? Super inconvenient, so, I mean, I hope you say yes. But it's just, you know, you can take time to think about it. I don't expect an answer. <laughs> <laughs> He's an overthinker. Parents going? I could just sit with them. My uh, my parents are in Korea. Damn, he got that crib to himself. I won't make it. Are you serious? You've had this whole place to yourself for three months. Let's throw a party. I'd lose my fucking mind. Is is my dad? Can't you just say that occasionally? Fine. But we're not talking about him right now because it's just. You brought him up. <laughs> I know. Everything you're gonna do before you do it. Sure you do. Oh, you don't believe? Me? No, I don't. I'm gonna write down the next thing you're gonna. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Your little games, Nadine. Mmm. Congratulations. Ah. Mm. Oh, <laughs> horrible handwriting. Your dad would be so disappointed in the way you're turning out. Oh wow. Ah, uh, that is not nice. Up there for worst things you could have probably ever said to her. You can't just say that to your kid. No. That is far, far beyond the line. I'm just gonna say it. I like you. I've liked you for months. I think about you every second. I don't know, maybe I even love you. <sighs> what? But simple, and I just feel this connection between us. I feel like I, I just want to be with you. I want to give you head. Oh my <laughs> god. Mouth on my tits. Whoa. I feel you inside me. I'm in stock room. Nadine. Dude, that is psycho. Did she send it? Oh my god. You sound like a psychopath. Thousand percent. You can't send this. Oh. oh. What? No. <sighs> Shh. Literally you can't send this. <laughs> it's the send, yeah. It's the send button. Look, I don't want to take up a Here we go. First scene. But I'm going to kill myself. Hmm. <laughs> complicated and simple. Counterintuitive there. Redundant. Between us. I feel like I already know you. This is kind of sweet. I mean, I think you're overreacting. I just want to be with you. I, I want to get... Wait, wait for it. <laughs> want to mean we can do it in the Petland stockroom. <laughs> say something. Oh my God, say some... Please help me. You need to watch out for run on... Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just take it off, all right? Try, try to relax. She's taking the first four off already. Don't worry. Thank you. It's going to be okay. Can I have some money for the... <laughs> <laughs> I want change. He's a cool teacher. He's kind of cool. Why kind of? I think he's really cool. Yeah, he's cool. What is this? That's um probably Rubis. what's his name then, Nick? Yeah. I don't know what I can't gauge the reaction. Wow. He texted her and said, Wow. Oh. My God. oh. What? 
<laughs> so sweet. It worked. She said she wanted to give him head and to suck on her tits. Said, You're so sweet. She said a few other nice things too. You're so sweet. No. Oh. Mom better not stop her. Oh no. She had to get a cab home. Cabs are here. Cabs are here. Out the window, out the window, out the window. A storm. An actual tornado went through there. He's gonna be so rude to her, bro. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Hey. He looks like Joe Burrow to me. <laughs> <laughs> he speaks and looks. What are you doing? It's going to Goodwill. Ugh. Everything that's on the floor. Go. Mom, why don't you just calm down, okay? You're not putting up with it. All. Oh. <clears throat> Give me the bag. Hey, I am the adult here, not you. Then why do you always call me? Good point. You're the one that called him here. Another one of those mother daughter relationships we can't relate to. Yeah. I, f I feel bad for. The brother, just because it seems like he's had to probably grow up a lot quicker than. This is romantic to lose her virginity right in front of a, a dumpster. I'll give you that one, Nick. You got a good taste in music. You seem like a real shitter. <laughs> <laughs> good taste in girls, too. Okay. Should be Irwin, bro. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> oh my god. You're trying to talk to him. <laughs> uh oh. I don't think she likes this. Is very direct, huh? I mean, she did say all. Oh, I want you to be inside me, huh? Get off! Get off! Okay. Get off! Okay. Get the hell. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's slow. Was weird. It's slow. It is real slow to get up. I um, I really liked that song earlier. What was the name of it, Kate? <laughs> All right, let's go home now. Let's let's take me back home. What? What now? You're making fun of my car? What? No, I I, I was just being specific. I wasn't saying that because it's. <laughs> no, 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 no. Lock. What? I, I don't understand you. What, what, what? You wrote me a novel about how you were dying to blow me in Petland, you psycho. Damn, bro. Why didn't I listen to my friends? Come on. Come on. Irwin would never. Irwin would never. I hope you hit a tree in this piece of shit. I hope you get fucking killed. <laughs> oh my um. god. Not the melancholy music. He's just trying to figure it out, man. You know? Yeah, man. I know. You know, Zuff? Yeah. We all know. Hey! Get a donut from these people. No. 
the more I watch, the more I'm like, I don't know if I want him with her mom. Because I don't love her mom. <laughs> and he's a good dude. And he's sweet. This is still a little strange, though. Yeah. I will be honest. This <laughs> is weird. Very, very not normal. <laughs> Baby in your house. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is Toby. And this is Greer. Greer. Don't stare. Make some self conscious. <laughs> Can I get you something? Dude, he's so cool. I huh? know. He's awesome. <laughs> Too long ago, too. Look where it led me. This is the face of hope. <laughs> well, I think that's for you. Come on. Dude, I would love to eat a grilled cheese off that plate. <laughs> Did you see the plate? No. It was like a lion. One of those mm. like face ones. Nice. I used to love those things. This is an aggressive angle. Car, let's go. No, mom's picking me up. No, she's not. Get in the car. They haven't spoken like an hour. Do you know what I've been doing all night? I'll find another ride. Hey. Come on, Nadine. Mom's little hero. You live for that shit. <laughs> Walked in like she owned the place. Oh shit. He ain't letting it go this time. Hey, I just want you to know you're right, Nadine. We don't you're right to... about everything. Not in the baby's house. <laughs> your fucking breath. Completely destroying you. So you're right. I don't like dislike her brother at all. Uh uh. There's <laughs> He's... two sides to every story, bro. This She's is... been being mean to him the whole movie. He's doing a good job right now of redeeming himself. Hey, can you give her a ride home, please? <laughs> Thanks. Like, yeah, he went after her friend, but, like, obviously they like each other. And yeah, then, it's not just, like, a little, like, yeah. stupid side thing. Like, And she is just nonstop just told him that, she, like, that he doesn't care about her. Like, that's... that's it's a bit ridiculous. Here comes a tough combo. I'm sorry for being a bitch tonight. It's a good start, apologizing. <laughs> I'm so scared. This family just needed communication. They just would talk to each other like this from the beginning. The mom's this not whole really movie. giving them opportunity. Right. What? The mom's not really giving them an opportunity. You have an accent for one word or drop the R in the word or what? Yeah, the mom's not really giving them an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one was the one word. Where's the opportunity, Ma? <laughs> it's just sweet moment between siblings that's just absolutely tainted by opportunity <laughs> and mom's not giving him quite that opportunity oh hey. my god hey. it's gonna be different uh, well have a good day <laughs> i'm gonna pick up this letter while i say that that would be really nice <laughs> now you as well have a, you have a good day both of you they still haven't talked. Thank you. We used to be besties. Can I call you later? No. Absolutely not, I would say. 
once he dumped my boyfriend. Well, <laughs> brother, hope not. <laughs> I'm happy that he's happy. There's always Erwin. There's one thing left to do. You gotta watch the film. It's all, it's all you need. Talk. Delete it. Delete it. Don't send it. It's okay. She's safe. Growth? Trust? Continue. <laughs> Nadine? The urges. Okay, Mom. They say love you. Say, okay. Thanks for listening. Things going. Our, our next entry, ladies and gentlemen, comes from Irwin Kim. Woo! Thank you. Of Lakewood High. Mr. Kim, would you like to come out and say a few words about... Hey, Erwin. <laughs> he's so like awkward, but he's adorable. Hello. Thank you for coming. Uh, he doesn't know where to put his hands. <laughs> Going for the pocket uh, the three times uh, now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Erwin. <laughs> it's your film. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Come on, Erwin. Wow, that was wild. It is. Mr. Kim's film. <laughs> What's it about? What's it about? It's animated. At Alien Planet High School. Okay. There was an alien adolescent who was struck by love. Ooh, is it about her? <laughs> so sweet. It's cracking. <laughs> Girl rescued. <laughs> Thanks to the alien from Alien High School. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my! <laughs> he said, "Too late, pool party." That was good. It felt like a film. Well, got the flowers. Oh, she is he gonna say too late? You're so fucking great. You're like the best person I know. <laughs> was it not her? Um, the film wasn't about you. <laughs> okay, that's embarrassing. Oh, God. Shoot. Shoot. I just, I'm sorry, I thought maybe because the hair and, like, the cool shoes that... Oh. Wow, we're one of those people that thinks everything is about them. Mm. This is just, just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> just messing with you. I set that up. You shithead. <laughs> I'm just over here, like, just... <laughs> I hate you so much. Yeah, right. Come on, sad as some people. W. Irwin, <laughs> legend. Oh, including her. Oh, <laughs> gentlemen. What a W man, yeah, bro. Him and Woody. And Darian. I'm just going to start us off here. And I want to say that was absolutely an amazing movie. I enjoyed every second of that. Uh, and I feel like that was a very good performance by Haley Steinfeld. She was funny. Um, I think she just did a great job. She made me laugh a lot. Uh, made me feel a lot. I just... 
I think she's a very good actor. That's fun to see her in something else other than Pitch Perfect. Obviously, she has a good voice, and it's fun to see her in that, too. But I think she killed that role. Um, and I love this movie. I love Erwin. He was an awesome character. Uh, he was he was funny. I mean, they were both just super awkward. So they went well together. And I'm happy everything panned out how it did in the end. Um, and I think she's going to be living a more of a happy life now that the family kind of communicated and everything went well. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed this movie as well. I feel like it kind of flew by, honestly. Like, it felt like it was like so, it felt short to me i don't know like 17 minutes but yeah i like i said it i think it uh it did feel very similar to th- we just watched lady bird and like the relationship between mother and daughter um definitely very complicated obviously very sad this this movie her father passed and yeah. i'm sure stuff wasn't the same after after that and from what we saw when she <clears throat> when she was younger um, they had a very, very close relationship, her and her father, and I feel like she could talk to him way better than she could talk to her mother. Um, and yeah, I just think it was complicated and kind of sad from all angles, uh, specifically the two children, though. I think it was tough on them. I mean, it's tough on the mom as well, but um, yeah, I'm glad they were moving towards the right direction at the end. Obviously, her and uh, Nadine and Darian were back on the same page getting along i think mom will take a little bit longer but i think she'll eventually get there and learn to like uh trust her kids a bit more and not worry as much and hopefully communicate better but yeah i thought a lot of the characters in this were great it was super funny i thought uh woody harrelson's character was great as well as Haley steinfield um I thought we were going to get more Krista from the way the beginning of the movie was going, but we didn't. But still, um, it was very good. And like I said, probably hard um, for us to understand certain dynamics in movies. And I feel like this is definitely one of them. But I feel like probably based off of our audience, I feel like I bet some people watching this might have went through something similar, like, you know, someone dating your sibling. So either way, definitely enjoyed this uh, movie. Yeah, I thought this movie was super, super cute. Uh, Honestly, I was a bit worried that the comedy wasn't going to hold the test of time, um, but it was super, super funny. I I thought all the jokes were hitting. Haley Steinfeld was hilarious in this movie. Woody Harrelson as well. Definitely two of the shining stars, as well as Irwin. Irwin was low-key one of the funniest characters. He was just really, really awkward, but... uh, I don't know. He he pulled it off. Um, from like going into this movie, I re- I honestly remembered like the the brother dating the sister conflict being like the main thing about this movie. Like that's what I remembered it as. And I feel like about halfway through, that just wasn't even a storyline anymore. I am happy that at the end of the movie or towards the end of the movie that Darian kind of had that little little scene of. I wouldn't even call it redemption. It was honestly just him standing up for himself a bit and just being like, wow, you you don't actually know what my life is like and just gave Nadine some perspective about how he feels. And uh, like we kept saying throughout the movie is like they, they just needed to communicate their feelings to each other and they'd realize what one another is going through and all the problems would solve. And I mean, that's what they did at the end. And going forward, I'm sure that all of their relationships will be much, much better. Just like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out our links in the description. Got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social medias, as well as our PO Box and Second Channel. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next week for movie night number 117. Peace out.